Okay, guys, we're back here uh, working on the uh, NV3500 transmission again. Um, taking it apart farther so we, that we can change the uh, synchro rings on here and uh, this bearing right here. So I'm learning more about these uh, transmissions and how to take them apart and how to put them back together. Um, making a table here that's going to help put the uh, transmission back together. So I drilled a two inch hole in it that the input shaft fits on. Um, so that sits on this gear right here flat. And then we'll be able to uh, build this up back on it after we get it apart. Um, there is a snap ring right here on the uh, front side. I believe this is like second gear. Um, okay, so after you get your input shaft off, there is a synchro ring on there and you wanna keep that like orientated the way it goes. And each piece you take off, you wanna remember where it goes. So I took off the snap ring here and now they show like a bearing splitter to pull this off, but I'm using what I have. This is a three, three tooth puller and I got it clamped on right there and uh, it has started coming forward. Put the uh, impact on there and see if we can get it off. And you can see now that the impact has pulled this gear off, um, exposing this bearing here, which is a split bearing rods. But you can see there it's in two pieces. So uh, let's keep going here a little bit. Okay, I got this off in the uh, orientation that it came off of there. Um, I kept the bearings sitting on the inside, so I remember where they go. And that sitting in there. Oops. This I'm going to put back in my hole. Okay, there's another snap ring here. And the way that those come off is with these very handy pliers. It's like $20 an app on Amazon. Um, there's the brand right there. Okay, a little bit of uh, prying and with the pliers and we got that off. Uh, that one we're going to put there. Seems like we're going to have to maybe go with the uh, puller again. And the uh, puller once again to get that next gear off. Okay, then I put this piece down on the table in the orientation. Um, this inner sleeve here, you remember how that went, and the, the bearing is in between those. Again, I'm setting it on top of that snap ring, so I know the snap ring goes there. Looks like next we got another synchro here. Take it off of here, flip it on to there. Now we have a shift shift slide, I think these are. 
and you can see it's got those little guys in there you want to remember how those are okay so I got this next one out and these three little teeth that go in there like that spring tooth ball next I'm not sure looks like maybe I gotta pull it again okay guys uh, back on the trans transmission main shaft here um, my puller wasn't uh, long enough so uh, Jeff at MNR the local shop let me borrow his uh, longer puller here and uh, I didn't even need to use the wrench on this one I just started tightening up my hand and it's uh, pulling that gear off um, he also printed me out um, disassembly and reassembly uh, paperwork so I'll have something to know how to put it back together maybe okay there we go the next gear is off and in line the re with the reassembly I got going on there I will uh, take this one off next Okay, got the uh, puller on there, and we'll see if it comes off. Okay, it seems to be that uh, right here, this is possibly part of the shaft or something. It's holding these gears from going that way. I think it's locked in on the shaft there. And uh, the instructions are for two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive so it's not exactly uh, science there so uh, what I went with next is pulling this little gear um, off the shaft here and then I'll try and pull this stuff off this way so we're starting with that one there okay guys I uh, again didn't have a long enough um, puller to try and pull any of this stuff off of here um, So I guess I tried to make a, a make do uh, press and uh, This is the old 350 taco block. Uh, I guess I decided I'm not gonna use it anymore, but Be careful if you try and do something like this. This did not work um, I'll get you back to you when I come up with another idea that might work okay guys uh, so I believe in between here is a snap ring which is why I wasn't able to push this bearing off so I ended up uh, buying this tool on Amazon <clears throat> uh, it was under 20 bucks so I'm gonna try and put that on the bearing here and uh, pull the bearing off that way we'll, uh, I'll show you next I'll take this out and show you. Okay, so the bearing will go in here and uh, this thing splits in half and then you can pull it from there. Okay guys, I got it <clears throat> situated on there in this direction. Um, it should work pretty well. I'm trying to get a good shot of there anyway. So when I tighten it up, it should move up, and we should see it move up right there. Um, I found these two J-bolts, and that should give me enough room to hook my puller on there. So, let's see if we can tighten these up a little bit. Okay, sorry I couldn't get a uh, good video of that, just a little hard with only two hands. So you see now that it is moved up on that snap ring thing. Um, that's just after tightening it, and I haven't put the puller on yet. Next, I'm going to put the puller on. 
Okay, I got the uh, puller set on there now. Um, these two hook bolts I had uh, just in a box laying around. Um, you'll have to um, get a bolt or something different from here. They have more expensive ones of these that come with an attachment to go on here if you don't have anything to figure that out. But uh, we're trying to do it cheap. So this is what we got. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, I've got it fully past the uh, snap ring point now, but I'm bending up my hooks. Um, and it only seemed to move when I tighten these up more. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to take this off and maybe flip it over and see because I think I'm caught on the snap ring yet. Hard to tell. Okay, yeah, we definitely separated it. Uh, I'm going to flip this over this now and try and put it on the way I think it was meant to go on. Okay, I still have been unable to get it to pull off. So I'm going to take my grinder and cut it here and here and split it that way. Okay, two cuts with the grinder. And I was able to get the outer race off. Now I will work on the inner race. Okay, I popped all the bearings out of here and now I'm able to just remove that. Now all I have left is the uh, the inner race. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, pull this race off with this thing again. Um, now I know that it's like on there good. Um, I put a red line on there so I can tell if it moves at all. I want to chain and bolt. Let's try it again. Okay, there we go guys. You can see the steam coming off. I did have to heat it again and uh, with the chains and the pulley and heat I ended up getting it off. Um, see if I can get it the rest of the way off here without having to do that again. Okay, as you can see it is all off of there now. Um, I was wrong, there's not a snap ring here, so it was just this, uh, that, uh, bearing holding everything on. So, this one will come off next. I'll sit there next to that guy. Then we have another synchro inside of there. We have another one of these with those little springs and balls in there. So, um, oh, we got a bearing here. Okay, that one splits in half, I think, is what happens there. Okay, I got this thing off. Put that on my pile there. And then next, this bearing is just clipped together, it's a bunch of rod bearings. And you can open it up, and that just keeps it contained in there. That one went inside of there. Okay, next, I'm going to have to put my puller back together, I think. Okay, guys, it's time for a beer. This is a quadruple dry hopped. What is that? Fad Morgana Imperial India Pale Ale by Amanapolo. Decent artwork. It's like a lake with like four moons or something. Let's see what the pour looks like. It's pretty good. I'd say like uh, 8 out of 10 quaffable. Okay, I see another snap ring right here, so I'm going to take that off. 
with the uh, snapping pliers. Okay, this cog gear, oops, I was able to remove off of there by just taking my pry bar underneath of here and jiggling it around. And eventually I got that one to come off. I'll put that over there. Next, I see a bearing in there. So I'm assuming that this one should just come off. Okay, and then uh, all that's left on the main shaft is this other bearing here I can take off. Set that in there. There it goes. Now the shaft is uh, is bare. Um, I guess that's going to be it for that right now. I'm going to see if I can find all the bearings and synchros to put this back together. Okay guys, I'll uh, go over how to uh, make the reassembly table here. And uh, so what you're going to want is a table, a piece of wood or something. This is just a table that I had. That I don't really care about so anyway here you drill a hole that's about two and an eighth and then that will fit over this uh, spot on the input shaft here and you want it to sit flat on this bearing because when you put these two in the tail shaft they go together like that about you want them sitting flat and then after you drill that hole, you can take that one and line it up over the hole a little bit like that. And then you're going to want to drill another hole for this one to sit in so it sits flat on this bearing. So what I did, and you can drill the hole a little bit bigger, but I just lined them up like that over the hole and then drilled the hole there doesn't look like it lines up, but it does pretty good. Um, yeah, so you stick this in there. And that one in there. Oops. This is here. So they fit together like that. And uh, you will be able to then, when you have your main shaft rebuilt, you'll be able to set it on here and set these two together um, to put it back in the tail housing. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. In the uh, next episode, hopefully, I'll have the bearings and uh, synchros to uh, rebuild the main shaft. I got all my parts in order there so I can. Uh, Hopefully remember how it goes together. Um, I got a little write-up. Uh, if you guys like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that bell. Uh, leave a comment. Leave some feedback. Leave some advice if you got know any tips about how to rebuild transmissions. Or if you just want to say hi, leave something. Uh, thanks for all the support and for watching. Uh, we'll catch you later. Peace.